about this stori. So everybody know we have a toy in the maxilla and mandible also. So our palatinous stori most commonly seen in the midline. Wherever your mandibular torus is seen in the lingual side, most commonly near your premolar region and above the malohyoid line. Remember, don't confuse with the uh, stephanous cyst and the torus mandibularis. Okay, your stephanous cyst is always present below the malohyoid line. Then comes the second is your porcelain teeth. So you should know that uh, difference between the porcelain and acrylic teeth. Most commonly we use in our prosthodontic lab is acrylic teeth because they have the advantage of chemical adhesion which with your denture based unit which is the not with the porcelain teeth. They require certain kind of the holes or you can say the connection for their retention in the denture base. But there are few disadvantages of porcelain uh, like uh, it is difficult to adjust, you cannot grind your porcelain teeth. But at the same time, in the acrylic teeth, we have an advantage that we can trim it, we can uh, adjust it. And one more disadvantage is there with the acrylic teeth is that they have the poor abrasion resistance, which is good in case of your porcelain teeth. Now, minor connectors or major connectors characteristic. Remember, they should be rigid to support your RPD framework. The most commonly we use is a cobalt chrome alloy. And in gold, we use type 4 type of gold alloy for the construction of this RPD framework. Then comes your Entez law. What is for this? It is for the support of your FPD. Fine. So remember this Entez law was given by the Johnston et al. What is say? The perisimental area of your abutment teeth should be equal to or more than the tooth or the teeth they are going to replace. So the recommended or the ideal ratio is 1 is to 2. Even 1 is to 1 also follows your Entez law. Then comes your palatal augmentation procedure. This is known as vestibuloplasty. Then about the healing period for your implants. For mandible we have around 3 to 4 months. For maxilla we have around 6 months. Then phase 4. Remember we have a 3 type of jaw relationship. Horizontal, vertical and the orientation jaw relationship. So your Facebook has been determining the orientation jaw relationship. It's a chemical like device. They help to know the relationship of your maxilla or mandible to the PMG. Or you can tell it also to the hinge axis. So this Facebook maintain your cast in the terminal hinge axis position. Then comes about the retro myohyoid fossa. So this is the distal extension of your lingual sulcus. To record this retromyeloid fossa, you can ask the patient to protrude the tongue. But to check the overextension, which was asked in the examination, you have to tell the patient to swallow. Then comes the buttressing of peripheral bone. It is known as lipping. Then about the example of biodegradable membrane. The example of biodegradable membrane is your polylactic acid, that is Vicry. The example of a non biodegradable membrane is Gorotex membrane, that's a PTFE, polytetrafluoroethylene. Then about the increase in exponential quantity of DNA. So such exponential increase can be seen in quantity of DNA in case of PCR, that is polymerized chain reaction. Then plumber Vinson syndrome, seen in iron deficiency anemia, consists of your uh, spoon shaped nails, that's cholerachia, and along with that we have a hysterical dysphagia which predisposes your upper alimentary tract for carcinomatous change. Then comes length of the cranial base. For that you can use the angle mesium to cella. Then about benefit of coronal metaceramic crown. It helps in the improvement of your aesthetics. Then saddle pointing, it is very beautiful. It allows the replication of your emergence profile of your missing tooth. Then comes the example of protease inhibitor. Uh, inhibitor. So whichever drug you see the word Navi, they are your protease inhibitor. Then comes the where you can use your mandibular labial bar. Fine. So most commonly it is used whenever there is a lingual inclination of your lower anterior teeth. Then about the dental survival uses. It is used for the orientation of your diagnostic cast to know your uh, depth of the undercuts 
then you can uh, plan your guiding planes, your crown design, your wax pattern, your cast restorations. So these all are use of your dental surveyor. Then comes the average dose of insulin in diabetic patient, most commonly in type 1. It is 0.6 to 0.7 units per kg body weight. So this was, this was about today's questions. So dear friend, remember in exam, whenever you see such type of numerical question, don't read the option. Fine. But if you are knowing, just remind the answer, then look at the option and select it. If you see the option, you will waste the time also and that will confuse you also. So whenever we are preparing the paper, like you can see in the AIMS and the NEET examinations, the paper has been prepared in such a way that you can complete the 240 questions or whatever questions in the coming or stipulated time. So they have given the exam such few numericals in which you have to give very less time, like 15 or 20 seconds. And they given a question where we given majority of time. This time many of the students in the need were complaining that this time paper were objective. It was not objective, it was completely uh, time bounded. But you should know where you have to give more time, where you have to give less time. So dear friend, please take care of time management whenever you are giving any of the exam. Even your GPS exam is very important. 300 question in 3 hours means you have to be fast, give less time to the numerical question and more time to the subjective questions. So dear friend, that was all. All the best. Keep on working. Please work on synopsis also because full paper is not going to come from the past paper. It can come 5 to 10 percent, but remaining 90 percent you have to focus from your knowledge. That's all. Take care and all the best. See you tomorrow with the another segment of your last year paper.